So I'm out in the shed today trying to re trying to sort some of this reclaimed material I ended up getting from that house. I have uh, quite a bit piled up outside covered up. I think I showed you before that stack of OSB I had in here. I had to move one this morning to get to some other sheets. I'm slowly sheeting in the pantry. Here is a lot of that small reclaimed pine. Yeah, it's just a uh, uh, it's like a tongue and groove uh, paneling, I guess you can buy at any store. I'll put this down, so watch here a second. There we go. Anyway, that's the short stuff. One side they varnished, the other side they did not. Anyway, I will show you what I've been up to using that stuff. Let's go for a walk into the house. I have my little workstation set up out here now because I am cutting some OSB and I'm slowly sheeting in the interior walls of that, the pantry. Okay, I do have some boards leaning up here to finish some of the walls. Anyway, that's how it's looking now inside here. The bottom stuff I had already done here, that's some of the paneling I made myself. Um, but anyway, that's the paneling I put on there. That's, that's all reclaimed stuff from out of that other house. Now what I have been up to today, I will show you what I've been up to today. That was already sheeted in there, but it didn't have this sheeted in over here. So this, I started sheeting this in. I got this and this. This is what I started on. I finished this this morning. I don't know if that's any better. Maybe that's a little better, it shows up, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I had to rearrange some stuff in the, in the pantry here. I'm gonna have to take all these, I'm gonna have to remove all of this out because all that paneling I screw nailed up there, those boards, they're coming down. I kinda just put them up there in hopes that they would dry for me and they've dried now. So I have to take them down, sand them really quick, and I'm going to, uh, put the dado blade on my table saw and I'm going to put a shiplap on them just like these ones and they're going to go about the same all the way along there and all the way along here and on that wall of course in behind there and then uh, around here once it's done so I have to remove all of Heather's preserves out of here everything's got to go including some of our potatoes like look at the size of this potato eh? whoa Man, look at that. I don't know if you get if you can even get an idea of how long that is, but anyway, that's that's my hand right there. It it is quite the size potato. We got a lot of them like that this year out of our garden. They did really good. So I have to get in here. I had to leave my tractor for a while. I haven't got it back together yet. I've had to do other things. So, uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I just wanted to give you an update and show you how this reclaimed pine looks on the wall. I shall continue that today and hopefully uh, have it finished in a, a couple days. It's already getting late in the day. I've been working at this wall all morning here and then it finished behind me, like I say. Now I'm going to start along here. Then I'm going to cut some poplar. I'm going to put some flooring in here. Some nice poplar flooring. And then I will get at it and build my... I'm going to build... Uh, before I do too much there, I'm going to build all of my shelves in here though. And I will keep the shelves suspended off the floor so I can just slide my poplar flooring under. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you folks today. Was how that reclaimed paneling looks on here. Okay. We'll talk to you folks later. Take care. Bye-bye.